so uh, they released, uh, Kevin Smith released the trailer for the Jay and Silent Bob reboot. He's been talking about doing this for years, mm. and my entire reaction was, Jesus Christ, just <laughs> quit. <laughs> don't, don't do that shit, but... I love him. I do too, uh, and I wish he would, like, my constant hope is that he does better things as a filmmaker because he's done things like Red State, which I think was was very well done for him to just be like, Agreed. going back and doing stupid stoner comedy. I was like, fuck you, whatever. But then I saw this trailer, and I was like, you know what, this is not any less stupid than what I was expecting, but I actually am in now. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's, it, as much as I hate to say this, because if there's one thing people know from me, from listening to this podcast, I hate reboots, I hate remakes. Mm-hmm. But this seems like it's a, well, it's a, a parody. Up of that, yeah, yeah. That it's idea. a big old parody of the reboot. And even though into itself it is also kind of like a no one asked for it way too late sequel. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, there's enough tongue-in-cheek there that I'm like, okay, this is fine. I don't know why you had to put your daughter in it, but that's cool. And hey, look, it looks like you and Ben Affleck kissed and made up. Yeah, seeing Ben Affleck back actually uh, made me a little bit happy. Yeah, it touched me. Just because, like, their falling out was so public. Yeah. That it's like, oh. And so stupid. They had such a dumb falling out over, like, Ben I mean, also, Ben Affleck wasn't in the best life state then, too, so... It's hard to blame the fight for anything, but honestly, personally, I'm very excited for this. I am a big, I don't know why, Jane Silent Bob Strikes Back fan. It's one of those movies that has stuck with me. I saw it young. I have quoted it for the rest of my life. I really like them, and Kevin Smith's awesome, and I just really love that he seems to genuinely love the industry, and that's what I like. I think he is so, he's one of those people who got in film just to be able to like talk about it and just to be like, okay, cool, now I can actually expose how stupid this all is, or all the comic book stuff, and I like that he's doing that. He also has done this at two very odd eras. Jane Silent Bob Strikes Back was right before the superhero craze, and, Mm -hmm. like, right before it really blew off, and right when the internet, I mean, maybe it was still, like, Web.1 kind of BS, like, weird angel fire sites. Like, so now this has evolved so much, and I think he has, this is the perfect time for this movie. Comic book movies are, I don't want to say on their... It's not on a last leg, but we're in a weird point where we were compared to 2001, and also the internet's a bigger thing, Comic-Con's a bigger thing. I think he has a lot to say in this one, and hopefully he says it between the stoner fart jokes and all that. <laughs> I was going to say, as far as like him having stuff to say, if you look at his Askew Universe films, all of them had at least something interesting to say, except Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. That was the only one that was like, and here's a bunch of stoner fart jokes for no reason. Yeah. yeah, but I do think he was critiquing his friends in Hollywood. I mean, there was a lot of, like, them kind of using the rights to a comic book without really telling the people they were based on. I think he was kind of already starting to poke fun at Hollywood in Hollywood. So now that he's aged into the industry, I think he should have a little bit more to say than there. Because I'm not going to defend it that I don't think James Lombard Strike Backs is this informative, like, weird, woke-ass film. But, like, I do think <laughs> there was... There was something there that he was already starting to be a couple years into the industry and seeing something and had something to say lightly. And I think even more now, he's like a vegan. He's better, like in better health, stopped smoking as much weed. He still smokes weed. But I think he's in a good spot right now, and I'm excited to see what he can do. And I know I like me a good Kevin Smith. He's fairly unproblematic, and that's hard to find with those nerdy guys in Hollywood sometimes. That's true. Yeah, that, that's Preach. fair. <laughs> <laughs> 